Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 15 of Crusader Kings 3, Mercia to Britannia. We're technically kind of halfway there. We've managed to form the kingdom in between, well, one of the kingdoms in between uh, the uh, duchy or the petty kingdom and the empire. Although we will need four kingdoms. Uh, we need England, uh, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. I'm sure we'll be able to get all of those together. Uh, we're making a decent amount of money at the moment. Which is nice to see. Uh, grant Derby to the Duke of Erid. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, can lawfully imprison someone. I think most of this stuff we can just leave for now. I'm going to unpause. We're not in any wars. We're gaining some money. We're using that money to build up some of our um, holdings. One thing that I did want to check quickly, though, was on our tech. Because I'm looking towards mustering ground so that I can uh, increase my men at arms. Um, regiments and maybe we'll struggle being able to afford that maybe i want to go for something else like city planning but that would take a long time we'll leave that for now we are how far are we away from mustering grounds 38 years that's not an insignificant amount of time by anybody's clock so what we do need to do is declare some more wars and take some more land. Our ruler is now 42. We do have an heir. Our heir is already 21. Uh, our heir doesn't have any children of his own yet. I'm sure he probably will sooner or later. Uh, I don't think there are any... Oh, there is a faction against us which is just basically um, peasants or pop populists, but we don't really have to worry too much about those. Yeah, it's just some peasants from West Friesland, which is over here, this random bit of um, land that I acquired in mainland Europe because it belongs to Wessex. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't intend to go to too many wars over there. Let's concentrate on what's happening over here. Now, Meath may end up getting fully, um, fully formed here. So, you know, we may, we may end up with uh, Ireland or Airy. So we'll see how that works out for us. What, what is it referred to in... Uh, in this one is it airy i know it is ireland the kingdom of ireland all right fine so yeah let's carry on what wars can we declare if any it's quite a few actually uh we can declare a war against meath apparently for what though this is our daughter-in-law isn't it i think our, i think that's our is that not our son's wife it is um so she's got a claim in meath I'm not sure how useful that is to us. There's the Hunter's Lodge constructed in Northampton. That's great. I'm going to pause because I may, might want to queue some more stuff up. Um, it is difficult to see where these are. This is over here. So we could try and we could end up grabbing more stuff over in mainland Europe, which is not something that I'm really interested in doing. Uh, we could go and grab that part of, um, of Ireland, actually. There's Visby again. Yeah, I think our best bet is probably this one here. Grabbing this land. We will want to get a claim. Are we fabricating a claim anywhere? You are fabricating a claim. Where are you currently working? Uh, down here on Devon. Yes, that was right. So let's go ahead and grab this. I think we've got enough piety to do that. Uh, so let's have a look at things. You are the guy I can declare war on, I believe. It's just a county. Vastly inferior army. You do have some allies. I'm not bothered about them at all. Even even your allies are just, like, not... Don't bother me. So we're going to march the armies north. I think. Are uh, our uh, uh, armies marching north? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's not right, is it? Uh, Northampton, Hunter's Lodge constructed. Do we want to build anything else here? Pastoral lands would give us some tax. We can get farms and fields over here. That's Buckingham. Northampton that I want to be on. There we go. So we can construct things in other people's lands, but why would we want to do that? Northampton. So yeah, we've got Hunter's Lodge. 
We can get some more garrison. Or more levies, actually. We go military camp. We don't have military camps anyway. Let's go ahead and get a military camp. So, we're going to go over here. I'm going to... I think I'm just going to... Just going to cross over. Let's get one army up there. Oh, we got, apparently we're going, we're going in the water anyway. Well, if that's the case. If that's the case, let's just spend the money. It'll be a lot quicker. They may be sending some soldiers um, via land. So we do have to be careful if they come around this way. But I'm okay with that. So we'll, we'll lose a bit of money here for this crossing. But, you know, we do make a decent amount of gold with this, uh, with this ruler. Yeah, he's actually trying to land some men in that province. Is he still doing that or is he aborted? I think he's aborted. Alright, let's get you down to there. It is literally just the one county, isn't it? Uh, a call to war. This is Frankia against Upper Burgundy and Alsace. Well, obviously we're going to say yes. Uh, let's pop over here to Man, because we can walk there. I don't think he's going to try and land those units. So we'll see what happens. So we are in another... This war should end pretty quickly. I don't know what he's going to do with these uh, these units down here. Unfortunately, being at war does cost me a fair bit of money. It's not a cheap hobby. Uh, let me just speed things up a little bit here. Hopefully get one war out of the way pretty quickly. Now, unlike EU4, you can't really uh, attack anybody that's at sea. There's no there's no naval combat. Uh, this Our Onagas are actually here. They'd have been better for the siege, but... Uh, oh, victory. Did we get that already? Oh, that's the West Francia one. The West Francia one's uh, already ended. Against the Duchess of Upper Burgundy. Okay. So, King Louis gets um, the county of Bissacon. Uh, Bis Bissancon. Uh, what did we get? Did we get anything? I don't think we got anything out of that. Whatever happened, the, that war's over. Okay, well, that's good. This is going to cost us less money in this war. So, we'll unpause. We just want this uh, siege to end. It shouldn't take too long. Only a level 2 fort. There's only 300 garrison in there. Now he's going to have supply issues if he just sits out there at, at sea. He's undersupplied. He's going to be even more undersupplied in a minute when his only province is taken. Hamlets constructed in Leicestershire. Do we want to build anything else up in Leicester? I mean, hunting grounds would be good. The barracks would potentially be even better. Let's get the... Uh, let's get the barracks. Historically, Leicester did have a barracks. Right, what's going to happen here? You are... Oh, me. Okay. We now control Ulster. We got three gold from occupying it. Yeah, so he's going to send his, his army in now. He's going to get a crossing penalty just coming in there. I don't think I need to get involved in here with my army because that would just be a waste of uh, money shipping them across. So I'm just going to... Yeah, we're going to win this battle easily. That only gave us 63%, oddly. I, I don't know where he's going to be able to go. His move, right, we can actually ca catch him here. Although he's broken, so he's shattered, so he'll, he'll keep moving. But we'll chase him down with the other army. I honestly don't know where he's, where he's heading to. Because I don't think they have any other land up here. You're stopping over there, are you? That's fine. We'll go and deal with that. No, he's moving off again. We'll, we'll, head him, we'll try and head him off in this direction if we can. He's already moved through with a lot of things. Uh, what have we got here? I've proud through the... Oh, we've got the, um, we've got the claim on Devon. Excellent. 
Where did that army come from? I think that's a raiding army, actually. So now we've got that claim on Devon. We probably also want to get one on Powys or something like that. So let's just go ahead and instantly move him and put him over here. Get him working on that. So we've got 68%. I think... Oh, we can unlock a new stewardship pack. Uh, I think that'll just keep going up. We're going to keep trying to chase you down. Although we're taking attrition, which is not great. Hide tents completed in Northampton. Spouse aids... So it was our wife that actually gave us th this uh, perk. So we've got an architect. Now the question is, where do we go? Do we go down Avaracious? Uh, you can demand payment for hooks. That could be useful. Uh, extort subjects. Monthly income while at war. That's not a bad one at all. Uh, vassal tax contribution goes up. That's nice. Uh, income per stress level can be nice. Or meritocracy. Um, claim the throne against your liege. Well, we don't have one. Domestic affairs improvement. Vassal levy contributions up by 20% can be useful. Uh, reduce monthly tyranny. Vassalage opinion. Councillor opinion. Vassals less likely to join independence factions. Powerful vassal councillor tax and levy contribution. I mean, administrator might be better for us. War profiteer is really nice, though, if you're fighting a lot. It makes a huge amount of difference. Um, we probably could... If we had that, we probably wouldn't even lose money when we were at war, so... Uh, I'm I'm going going to go down that route. So now that battle is finished, I'm going to move in here and get ready to intercept these guys. Uh, we've now got them pincered, so they shouldn't be able. Is that how it's saying that's going to be a balanced battle? I'm not exactly sure how it comes to that conclusion. Uh, this should go. Mind you, they do have um, the pikemen who are fighting uh, in favourable terrain, and that's probably why it's going their way. It's only slightly going their way, but we are just about. Wow, they are carving through us with just a few men. Uh, they are going to lose though, because the rest of our army's just arrived. And there they go. We're at ninety-two percent. Again, not entirely sure where they're going to be able to go now. Uh, let's just grab one of the armies. We'll leave one of the armies here. Uh, my dynasty is known far and wide. Excellent. Let's get rid of these. Um, where are we building now? Realm. So, not constructing anything in, in Warwick, which is our capital. If we're constructing anywhere, it should be in the capital. Uh, let me click on it. There we go. Um, no, I don't want the Kingdom of England. I just want to click on, on Warwick. There we go. Uh, what do we want to get here? Walls and towers. Increase the fort level. I mean, it is our capital. That's not a bad idea. Let's get walls and towers. Well, at least it's our capital for now. Our jour capital should be uh, in Middlesex, but... It's uh, it's actually the Duke of Wessex that controls that right now, so we're not too bothered by that. Uh, increase opinion with our rival. She's in prison. I don't really care. Um, who can we vassalize? Gwent can become our vassal. Sure. Will he accept? Wessex have been taking it. There we go. Gwent's instantly ours. Uh, Wessex have been becoming a bit more as well. Uh, we can create another duchy. Well, we all know how that works out. Creating more duchies, we just end up having to give them away. So we'll wait on that one for now. We are So we are gaining land. Please stop sending units in to attack me. Councillor has had his head ripped off. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal. Our spy master's just had his head separated from his body. Um, we've got a guest here who we could recruit to court. Sure, it's only going to cost us 20. You're our new spy master. Welcome to the team. You might possibly last longer than the previous one. Oh, we've got 100% on this one. So let's just go right ahead and enforce those demands. Excellent. Disband the armies. We're not at war. Where does that put us in terms of domains? 
Uh, we don't have too many domains. We're below our vassal limit. Nope, we're all, we're good so far. So we're starting to we're definitely starting to eat into Wales now. Uh, so we've got this claim on Devon. I think we should probably uh, act on that as soon as possible, really. Um, because the sooner we can claim Devon, uh, the sooner we can get to Cornwall. And that would really be ideal for us. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to declare war on Devon, get Devon, and then go after Cornwall diplomatically. Possibly. Uh, before we do that, let's just go ahead and set our rally points. Uh, so we'll um, move this rally point here. And we'll set a new rally point here. We've got two rally points. So let's go ahead and declare war. Does have allies. Why is it not showing me who his allies are? Interesting. He's vastly inferior anyway, apparently. It'll cost us some prestige. Oh, it belongs to Brittany. Oh, I'm not bothered by that. So let's go ahead and declare that war. Raise all of our armies. Still, this army has split over two provinces. It's a little bit weird. This little army, like, joins up on its own. I don't know why it does that. Rally point in line. We've got a tiny little army there now. Let's go ahead and remove that rally point. That's just weird. So, Brittany doesn't have any troops over here because all of his troops are down here in Brittany. Um, I'm taking some major attrition here. I'm not even sure which of these armies is the one that has the Onagas and it's that one. So, let's take this army. And do we want to go down and harass Brittany? Or is that asking for trouble? I feel like it's asking for trouble, but I'm probably going to do it anyway. I want to get both armies down there as soon as possible. Oh, theoretically, we don't even have to do this. Lively livestock. As additional payment in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. I've been assured that the animals are of the highest quality, but the question of what should be done with them remains. Warwickshire will prosper from the land. Um, and that'll give us development growth. Or oh, it's a beautiful herd, but it could be larger. 79% chance that we get large cattle herd for 15 years. I don't want the stress. Um, the money would be nice, but when we're not at war, our money's decent. I'm going to take the gamble on this. There we go. Large cattle herd for 15 years. That'll help with our development. That is good. And I think that's what this particular ruler is all about. I'm more. I, yes, I am still going to war a bit, uh, but I'm more concerned about just trying to develop my um, develop my holdings ready for the next ruler. Uh, there is an army doing something. Are you coming to... You are coming to England, you cheeky git. Um, I'm just going to instantly break that siege and go back there and get ready to attack his armies. So he's down, He's knocking around down here on the Isle of Wight. Once you get in the water, I'm going to redirect you so you're a little bit closer. You're going to march over here to Hampshire. We've already occupied Devon. There's 9%. Okay, let's get you over here. Very, very cheeky, but it was expected. So we got 15 gold from occupying Devon. That's on pause. Uh, we've still got plenty of money in the bank, so generally things are good. Low control in Ulster. We can, we should fuse, feudal, yeah, I'll get that right. Feudalize Dan Patrick. Yes, we should. Um, there is a way of changing this. Go to holding. And because this is tribal, it's the wrong type of holding. The tribal hold. Do not hold the tribal government. I'm missing the button somewhere. Maybe I just can't do it while I'm at war. Um, county capital, grant to. Where's the button? Is it here? Go to location. I'm totally missing this button. I will look that up after. Maybe I can't do it while I'm at war. I've done it before. I just cannot work it out right now. So you're putting some more men in there. 
which is fine if that's what you want to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and have a little... Oh, you're going to go the long way around, are you? Well, that's unfortunate. But we should still get there in time. Our knight was wounded. There we go. We vastly outnumber them now. Ends up from 13 to 32%. Now then, they're actually still in England. So let's just keep chasing the army down. There's no point really going over and sieging out their holdings because... Um, it's not like we can take it. It's not like EU4. We can't take anything else from them anyway. So we might as well just keep chasing them around. I see that uh, the claim on Powys is almost ready. Uh, unhealthy relations. Ugh. What's going on with, with her complexion right there? That's not good. It has smallpox. Uh, my lord, the malady is contagious. Be wary. The diseased body of a commoner, skin marred by rashes and bumps, rests upon the table. Anyone who comes into contact with the corpse risks infection. And I was planning an outing that will take me close to Shrewsbury, the holding of my rifle and vassal. Launch it towards Shrewsbury. Someone at her court might uh, contract the disease. Countess Christina becomes your nemesis. I gain stress because I'm compassionate. She loses opinion of me. What's the point? Studying corpses for five years. 10% chance one of your courtiers contracts a disease. Uh, I'm just going to take uh, lose the stress and um, gain the piety. Paying for war. Wow. Yeah, event after event here. Wars are expensive and with my treasury rapidly emptying, I need to think about how I, will, how I will pay to keep my soldiers on the battlefield. Raise additional taxes from the pe peasants. Well, I don't want taxes. Cut non-essential military expenditures. Only a 29% chance that I improve the efficiency of the military budget, or there's a 70% chance I ac accidentally cut it, or I can just lose 10 stress. I'm going to cut non-essential uh, non military expenditures. I'm going to roll the dice. Uh, we gained efficiently supplied armies for three years. Excellent. We got the outcome I wanted. Um, we're going to get the claim on Powys, and now we're very, very close um, to the next lifestyle perk, which we can use to get the... Uh, increased taxes while at war so it's probably going to be a little bit of time before this war with devon is concluded so i'm going to end this video here and i once again would like to thank you all for watching i hope you are still enjoying crusader kings 3 if you are please do remember to leave a like on the video because it really helps me out i will see you guys on the next video and until then goodbye for now